All right, this first question asks us to find an equation for the tangent to the curve at a given point. And we have y equals 16 square root of x, and our point is 432. So I know if I want to find an equation tangent, then I'm going to need my y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where I already have my x1 and y1, I just need my slope. And to find the slope, I just simply take the derivative of 16 to the square root of x. So I can pull that 16 out front, and then the derivative of square root of x is 1 over 2 square roots of x. So that becomes 8. And I can also plug in my value for x. So I get 8 over square root of 4 or 8 over 2, or my slope equals 4. So now all I have to do is just plug all these values into this equation. So y minus y1, which is 32, equals my slope, which I just found, and then times x minus my value of x1. And I mean, you could solve it for y if you want to, and you'd get 4x plus Alright, so in question 2, it asks you to calculate on part A, to calculate the derivative for f of x equals 5x plus 9. Well, the derivative of 5x would be 5, and the derivative of 9, a constant, would be 0. And then it said to give the value of the derivative at x equals 2. Well, because this is a constant, then the value would just be that constant. Part b, we're given f of x equals 5x plus 3 over x. So the derivative of 5x, again, would be 5. The derivative of this one probably would be easier to write like that. And so you would see you'd bring the minus 1 down. So you'd have negative 3 to the x to the minus 2. Well, I'm going to go ahead and throw that on the bottom. And then the second part is to evaluate it at negative 2. So I simply plug in a negative 2. And I get 5 minus 3 fourths or 17 over 4. All right, question number three, here is part A, is to find the first and second derivative for y equals 6x to the fifth over 5 minus 3x plus 8e to the x. Well, the first derivative, I would bring the 5 down, so I'm going to just put that 6 out front. I would bring the 5 down and then subtract 1, and then the second derivative I would just have negative 3, and then if I bring the 8 out front, remember e to the x, the derivative is e to the x, so as you can see that cancels, 
and I end up with my first derivative equaling 6x to the fourth minus 3 plus 8e to the x. I want to take the second derivative, so I bring the 4 down, so 6 times 4 is 24. Subtract 1, the constant, negative 3, becomes 0, and then plus, bring the 8 out front, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x.